a quarter circle contains a circle that is tangent to one of its sides. Construct a line segment perpendicular to the other side of the quarter circle and tangent to the circle inside the quarter circle. If this line segment has length equal to 12, find the area that's shaded in blue, which is the area of the quarter circle not contained within the small circle. The problem specifies that there is a quarter circle. Inside it, there is a circle tangent to the radius. We draw another tangent to the upper part of the circle, and we know that the value of this segment is 12. We want to find the blue area. We denote the radius of the quarter circle with R and the diameter of the inner circle with D. The blue area will be equal to the area of the quarter circle, which is the constant pi multiplied by one fourth of the square of R, from which we subtract the area of the inner circle, which will be equal to the constant pi multiplied by one fourth of the square of D. By taking the common factor of pi over four, we obtain the following relationship. We can draw the next line, which will be the radius of the circle itself. By applying Pythagoras' theorem to the right-angled triangle formed, we can deduce that the square of r is equal to the square of d plus the square of 12. This means that the square of r minus the square of d equals the square of 12. We can substitute the value of r squared minus d squared in the previous relationship. By doing this, we will obtain that the value of the area is 36 times the constant p. Let's suppose the quarter circle has a radius length equal to A, and the small circle has a radius length equal to B. Then the diameter of the small circle is equal to 2B, and that's exactly the distance between the center of the quarter circle and the line segment. We want to calculate the area that's shaded in blue, and that will be equal to the area of the quarter circle minus the area of the small circle. This is equal to pi a squared over four minus pi b squared. Factoring out pi gives pi multiplied by the quantity a squared over four minus b squared. It remains to solve for a squared over four minus b squared. To do that, construct a radius of the quarter circle to the endpoint of the line segment. This will have a length equal to a. We now have a right triangle where the hypotenuse is equal to a and its legs are equal to 2b and 12. Therefore, a squared is equal to the quantity 2b squared plus 12 squared. Simplifying this equation and then dividing both sides by four, and then subtracting b squared from both sides gives a squared over four minus b squared is equal to 36. All we need to do now is substitute in for a squared over four minus b squared. So we get the area shaded in blue is equal to 36 pi. And amazingly, we solve for the answer without knowing the radius of either the quarter circle or the small circle. Amazing!